it's me ex canadensis and today we're going to be doing a review of these two lovely fulla dolls this one out of box this one in box so if you guys have never heard of fulla dolls they are manufactured by a company called new boy and they are produced for a middle eastern audience sometimes they make their way to other countries there's a few countries that they're actually distributed or they used to be actually distributed in but um in the u.s they tend to have to, they were like imported by specific entities to be sold here but they were never fully distributed that i know of these specific ones i believe are from around 2006 the box date is 2004 but i don't know for sure and these are pretty tricky to get a hold of i bought mine on ebay i got a really good deal and i'm so grateful that i managed to get them because i just adore these dolls i have i have some other dolls by this company and they are actually remarkably good quality so i'm really curious about these because these are new boys main Thing. and this doll is kind of interesting because she has this mystery fashion aspect so she has her hijab and then she has her like outdoor fat well i don't know because they're called outdoor fashion but anyway these are the fashion boutique dolls and they have a lot of really cute outfits so i'm curious which one we got because they all come with the hijab and the abaya but they don't all come with or sorry they're all different here so i'm excited to see who we got and then this one is kind of interesting and that's the reason that i'm going to be leaving her in box so she is the prayer dress one so it says fulla bilabis ausala and she comes with her prayer beads and this is the 33 bead version i think normally they have 99 um but they just go around this one three times i believe and it says your gift from fulla and i, le I learned a new word here because i don't believe i knew the word gift before so it says hadithic min fulla which is your gift from fulla and then here the uh, full of fashion collection. I also did not know the word for um, collection, and it is Tashkila? Tashkila? I might, I might be pronouncing that wrong, but Tashkila. Pretty cool. Uh, and this doll's really, really beautiful as well. I believe she does have another outfit under here, but I'm gonna leave her as she is. And you can see on the back. So this is, I think this is really, really interesting. And look, it says the color full of pink is, tra is a trademark of New Boy. Very interesting. And she has the same 2004 box date, but 2004 might be the... Oh, look! I didn't know she had extra shoes. So she totally does have an extra fashion, I bet. The shoes are meant to be attached. I might unbox her someday, but for now I'm going to be leaving her in box. So this one is from the Outdoor Fashion Collection. So it says Fulla, which is her name. Bilabisha, which is her fat, or, um, her clothing. Um, Jarid, or Harij, sorry. Harij, um, El Manzil. So, you know... <laughs> Fulla and her out it's like Fulla with her outdoor fashion it's something like that I, I, I don't think that directly translates to English at all uh, so yeah I'm going to be getting this one out of the box and then we will get started on so that. I'm going to be unboxing her on camera with you guys and also showing you some details on her box uh, there's a lot of interesting Arabic words that I feel like I've never seen before I've never seen this form of this word um it's ajmu ha or that would be the word that I'm used to but this is like ajmaihun ajmaihun something like that um cool hoon collect them all I'm learning. See, I'm learning from my dolls. Uh, and then it shows you that every doll comes with this, but then you get a mystery fashion of some sort. I don't know which one I'm hoping for. I'll be happy with any, but I think this is probably my favorite one. Um, but we'll see. And there's that. Oh, I just saw the batch code. Oh my goodness. So it's right there, but I don't know which one that goes to. So it says outdoor fashion. And on the top, it says she has Jadid Shar Mahasan. So she has improved hair, better hair. So I wonder what that means, because I don't have any frame of reference here. The only other dolls by New Boy I have are these Arabian Friends dolls, which are some of my all-time favorite dolls in my entire collection. I love them. Anyways, let's get her out of the box. Let's go. Um, it looks like they're taped, but I'm not sure where, and I want to do the least amount of damage to this box as possible. It is already a bit shredded, but, you know, I don't want to do any more damage, because I want to keep the box. Let me... And the camera down so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're going to cut. Sometimes it's a mystery with these boxes. And I just really, really, really don't want to hurt it. Because um, I'm going to be keeping at least the back card. Probably the front plastic too. Just because I feel like I'm not going to... Again, I feel like I'm not going to be able to find a lot of these. Um, oh, man. Oh, okay. Here. This is better. So if you ever end up with one of these dolls and don't know how to unbox her, have I got a treat for you? Dude, it's so hard not to look up there now that I know the codes, but I'm really trying not to. <laughs> I won't look, I won't look. Um, it's like a fun mystery game, except there's, um, 
there is a code that I could cheat if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Gosh, <laughs> it's really tight. It's been there for two decades almost, so there we go. It's got some kind of stamp there. Okay, she does slide out. Yay! I was, I was really hoping I wouldn't have to destroy the box. All right, so we have, ooh, pink shoes. I don't, I think that might be one of the ones that had the fuller shirt on, which would be very cute too. Oh, yeah, look, I can tell who we got. So we got this one. 4618, I feel like. Um, which does not correlate to this. Look, 4632. So who? Oh, interesting. Okay, this is 4632. <laughs> so I wonder where that code is. I guess it is totally a mystery then. Interesting. 2004 is on the box again. Huh. So there is no way to cheat and know who you're going to get. I guess except this. That is pretty obvious, so um, I don't want to familiarize myself too much with the outfit before we actually get her out. Okay, so we have one cut there. Her head is attached to the back, I believe, or what's going on? Oh, there's, oh, how nice. Look, there's a little door. Sorry, I've never opened one of these before, so I am just clueless. There we go. This used to be such a thing with dolls, and I hated it, um, so I'm glad that it's a thing of the past. It does hold them in nicely, though, and I hate the ties that ruin clothing, so I guess this is the better alternative, but you know it's a little nostalgic reminds me of opening old barbies when i was little not excessively old or anything but you know my age it's old to me because that's how old i am so. all right let's get her out of here we're going to free you fella all right she should just pop right out now what did i just drop i think it was a tie from the box <gasps> we get a manual oh i'm excited i cannot wait to see the other dolls Okay, oh, I just have to pull. There we go. All right, and then the manual. So she must be a 2004 release, so. We got, oh man, the tape ripped that. That's okay though. Ta-da, perfect. I really like this little door. How cute is that? Okay, let's move all this aside. We have the full of 2004 manual, and this has much less English on it. <laughs> um, so this will be a trip. Tashkila. Harif. Harif. I don't actually know what word that is. Wa. Shata. I don't. I don't know what all that says. This um dialect that Fuller uses. I don't know if I know this one specifically. They're all relatively similar, so I can usually figure it out. But this one's a little different. I think they're um from the UAE, and I learned um definitely not that dialect. Anyway. Here we go. Let's see all the dolls. Okay, so, ooh, there's a different one. Oh, that's Yas Yasmin. And then these are all full of, okay. Oh no, that's Nadi. Oh my gosh, there's several characters. Huh, I've never seen those ones before. And then these are all full of, so these are the, these are the ones we have. So I believe that I got this one. And that outfit's pretty cute. I definitely like this yellow one a lot, but cute and then on the back huh that must be like a special set Ooh, interesting okay so the one that we have here the prayer dress one is not actually listed in here so she might be from a different one because this one doesn't have 2004 written on it it just says full of fashion collections so i wonder oh, it's making me really want to unbox this one i might i might we'll see i definitely want at least one of these dolls in box though um i'm not specifically an inbox collector or anything but you know all right i just dropped a doll stand that i was going to use for her so i will be right back since the arabian friends dolls are also made by new boy as i said i brought them over to kind of compare the quality a little bit so these two actually have a very similar thing going on where they have a bonus and a hijab um this one is definitely higher quality. The Niklov itself is made out of a like thicker material and it's lined. This one is also lined, but both the lining and the outside are just a bit thinner, but they're both really, really fantastic. It's just that this one has these applied details and this one has embroidered sleeves and look how phenomenal these are. I believe these are just embroidered ribbons that they have done on the end, but look how gorgeous that looks. It's really, really exquisite. And I love the 
golden trim on the hijab as well. It's really, really beautiful. This one's really beautiful too. I assume they were just going for another design, but I'm thoroughly impressed by the quality. And then we will have to see about her outfit. For the Arabian Friends, the two that I have, I have three outfits between the two of them. We have some hit and miss pieces like this disaster. <laughs> And um, one of her bags is also a disaster, but overall the quality on the clothing is excessively impressive. So I'm really curious about hers, um, which we will check out a little later. First, I wanna show you what she looks like in this outfit. So I really, really love her hijab and the way that she's wearing it. So this is one side and then it's kind of, most of the fabric is coming out this side and then it wraps around and drapes here. It's really nice and I'm shocked that they've managed this with no pins. Although it is tied in a couple places, but I ended most of the ties and it's still sticking up, so pretty cool. I need to learn to tie that myself. She does have some hair poking out of the back. She doesn't come with a stand, by the way. This is my stand. So her abaya is closed in the front. It just has a little tie here, and then it's stitched all the way down to hold itself in place, but it's not a stitch that's intended to be there. It's just there for packaging. As you can see, it's not tied at the end, and that's also the case with my Arabian Friends doll. Um, I think that's interesting because it's never going to hold itself closed ever again if you undo it, but you have to to get to the central feature of the doll, which is that she comes with the second outfit, but totally fine. I get it, and I can just redo that stitch if I really want to. Uh, but yeah, this is an absolutely exquisite outfit. I think they did a fantastic job. Very, very cool. All right, so now I will reveal the fashion that we got, which we already know. So I'll be right back. I was pretty lukewarm about this outfit when I saw it on the back of the box, but honestly, on like seeing it on the doll in front of me, it's so, so nice. I do think it clashes heavily with the hijab. I, I figured I'd leave it on so that we could see some mix and matching potential, but I don't think it's supposed to match because you are actually supposed to like fully remove it and just have the actual outfit on. But regardless, she's really, really cute. Um, I really love the top and it's like actually collared and we'll see that closer in just a minute. Um, overall, I really like this. I love these dolls. They have fashion that's like no other dolls in my collection and unlike any dolls that are, well, there are s dolls with similar modest fashion, you know, I'm not going to say that there aren't, but these are just so interesting and the snapshot in time that they're um, referencing and the the fashion that they're doing is from the Middle East specifically, I feel like. So they're so distinctly different and I love to collect dolls from all around the world. So these are so exciting to me and they're just beautiful. I was hoping that this was a belt actually, but unfortunately it's not. That's the only thing I have to say, but the quality of these pieces is very impressive. These boots, you know, they're pretty standard fashion doll boots, just like um, soft plastic boots, probably reused. If you recognize where they're used from, let me know. Um, and then she has this pink suede skirt that is so nice. It's so soft and it's just a really, really high quality piece. I'm very impressed with it. I'm very curious as to what is Jadid about this hair, what's new, what's improved, because it's uh, it's polypropylene. But I don't have any older Fula dolls, so maybe it was somehow worse than this, I don't know. But honestly, I'm thinking that maybe Fula got highlights, and all the Fula dolls now have highlights, and that's what the improvement is, but I don't know. It's very interesting. If my other Fula doll is older and I do end up opening her, then we'll have our answer, but ah, I don't know. Her hair is styled in a very simple, very traditional doll hairstyle. So she has a part line and the hair is in the front, just tied all the way around to the back. And she does have some pretty extreme dye transfer from probably her hijab, which is very unfortunate. It's not, I mean, it's pretty bad, but it's not in visible spaces at the very least. Like we didn't, oh, never mind. Look at that. Ugh. But the hair covers it, so it's okay. Um, so that's all the more reason to unbox your full of dolls, guys. And then now we can look at her beautiful checkered top. So it has a little collar, which I really like collared shirts on dolls. Well, turtleneck. It has like a turtleneck collar. Um, I really like shirts like this on dolls. They're not super common. And th I, I wear turtlenecks 90% of the time, so I like it. And then the shape of it is very nice. It fits the doll well. And it's a it's a fine quality material. It's kind of like a broadcloth. It's not, it's not excellent or anything. And then this actually kind of feels like a knit here so it's kind of interesting um this little red piece i'm really not sure what it's supposed to be is it supposed to look like a belt is it supposed to be some kind of weird shirt detail it's not a belt it doesn't continue onto the back but it could be like referencing a belt specifically i don't know um but the, the construction on all these pieces is great and i do actually see some full doll pieces on aliexpress from time to time especially these i see these a lot but i'm only noticing these because i know they're full of because they literally say full on them. I could be seeing full of doll stuff all the time and just not recognize it. So I'm going to have to get a lot more familiar with these dolls because I really like them and I'd like to add more to my collection someday. 
Um, but that is it for this review. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'd love to know what you think of these dolls. I think they're really, really gorgeous. They're very, very unique for my collection, and um, now I have three different types of Middle Eastern dolls, and um, two of them are by New Boy. I believe the other ones are by a different company, and I think they're all really nice. They're nice quality. They have really nice designs. They're very, very different in my collection in the best way, and I just love collecting dolls from all around the world and seeing the dolls that are specifically marketed towards um, audiences from specific countries that are not my own. Uh, it helps me learn a lot about their culture, and um, these are extra special to me because, again, I studied Ar the Arabic language in college, and I really like learning about them, and it also um, inspires me to start reading Arabic again because... I have not practiced in a long time, so my pronunciation is probably all wrong and my flow is atrocious, but, you know, I have some, I have some reading material now. I'm just going to sit here and be like, full <laughs> yes, mean, you know, um, anyway, that's it for this review. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and convince me whether or not I should open her. I don't think I should. I think I'm going to leave her inbox. I'll just, I'll hunt for more full of dolls and I'll, I'll let you know. See, she has the same face, which I figured, but I'm very curious about her hair now because this is not 2004, so maybe this is the original set of Fuller Dolls, but she says 2004 on her box. But maybe this is like a separate release because this is a specific, like, for, for the night. I believe she's for the night prayer. I apologize if I'm wrong. Does she come with? Yeah, she does come with a mat. I do think so, but I don't know. Um, anyway, for all this time, thanks so much for watching. Bye!